my pleasure to invite the Prime Minister, the Honourable Tony Abbott, to speak on behalf of the Commonwealth Government, to receive the symbolic keys and to formally open the building. Prime Minister. Prime Minister, to commemorate the Commonwealth's wonderful contribution to this building and to our other building, and to also recognise your role in opening this building, I'm very pleased to hand you the symbolic key to the Harry Perkins Institute building. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is a real honour to be here today. It's an honour to be in the presence uh, of uh, the Governor, the Deputy Premier, the Lord Mayor, Ministers Dutton, Corman, so many people who have made a magnificent contribution to this building. When I became the Health Minister back in 2003, it was not a position that I'd ever coveted, ever craved, ever asked for, but it was in some ways the most satisfying four years of my public life because the great thing about the health sector is that everyone is in it for the right reasons. They're not there for money, they're not there for preference for advancement. They are there because they want to work for the betterment of mankind. And you do work for the betterment of mankind particularly those who are involved in health and medical research. Almost nothing changes our world like health and medical research. If we think back to our great-grandparents' times, uh, they were lucky to live to be 50 or 60. Today, we can expect to live to be 80 or 90. And that change, that extraordinary opening of the world to all of us uh, has been a function of advances in health treatment. Uh, it's been due in large measure to the work of health and medical researchers such as the people whose work we honour today, uh, the people who will be housed in this magnificent building behind us. And can I say that we here in Australia are very, very good at health and medical research. Uh, Howard Florey, the inventor of penicillin, has probably been the Australian who had most impact on the wider world. Uh, we've had uh, a cavalcade, particularly in recent times, of internationally recognised health and medical researchers. Eight of Australia's 15 Nobel Prize winners have been in health and medical research and obviously I acknowledge and recognise and honour uh, Professor Barry Marshall here with us today from the University of Western Australia. It's very important to this government, as it's been very important to all governments, that we continue to do what we can in health and medical research. I can assure everyone here today uh, that uh, having been a health minister for medical research, I am determined to be a Prime Minister for medical research in the months and years to come. It's a thrill to think that the meeting that I had with uh, uh, Professor uh, Peter Clinken all those years ago uh, has borne fruit in this way. Um, I'm honoured, Peter, uh, to be here with you today on your last day as uh, director of this institute. I'm pleased to be with Peter Leedman on his first day as director of this research institute. But most of all, I want to acknowledge everyone who has made today possible. Uh, the professors, of course, the researchers, of course, but all of the unsung people who've made it possible. The builders, the tradesmen, the craftsmen, everyone connected with Doric Constructions, led by Harry Zaitis. They've all done such a magnificent job. Um, it's nice to have the hallelujah chorus over there. <laughs> well, may they do their bit uh, to commemorate today because I am confident that our world 
our country, our state, will be so much better in the years and decades and centuries to come because of the work that will be done in this building behind us. Thank you, Prime Minister. I would now ask you to unveil the plaque that commemorates the official opening of the Harry Perkins Institute of Medical Research Building.